Hello everyone, it's me, Styles RJ. Time to tip the scales for another video of FTL. Let's have a look at our ships available. Alright, I had a Captain's Edition game going on in infinite space, but I didn't have time for that. And whoa, 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 whoa! What's going on with the Kestrel? It's pink. Or her boards. This is not the Kestrel I used to fly with. What's going on? That's right. I've um, downloaded um, a mod called the called the Ship Randomizer. It um, yeah, it's a whole bunch of different looking ships, as seen here. So we get that. I get a very rusty looking NG cruiser, or a very green looking NG cruiser, or a red one. It's who knows. Who knows what we might encounter? Um, the mod by the Ship Randomizer by Rattles, and um, they always download this other mod called the Flagship Randomizer by Sleeper Service, I think. Yeah, I think so. I can't I tend to get too confused. I ask Rattles or stuff got the flagship, and he doesn't know that Sleeper Service is up. That's Sleeper Service. I'm like, oh, okay, sorry about that. Yeah. Anyway, so let's see what ships I can get. Oh, I should also check a room layout. They're also randomized. Carry four drones, so I'll make it for that one. Three, like three, three. Okay, no guns on this one, but it's got a Lanius. Okay, and. Hmm. I don't know which one to go with. From the Zoltans. There's a lot of ships to choose from. while, so once I've got the ship selected, I'll be back. Okay. And I'm back. Since I'm expecting a very quick run, or hopefully, or I might have to slip them apart, depending on how this goes, I decided to go with this one, the Randrike. It's got a flak one and a ion blast. No oxygen, but it's got a hacking system. Clearly, this loadout here is designed to be overpowered, so... Let's go play with normal. Ooh, I can look at the secret data. Let's see what flagship we've got. Data clearly shows the enemy fleet one seat single weakness, the rebel flagship. Destroy it or turn the title of the hang on. Uh, I think I've yeah. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's look at the flagship layout. The flagship concentrate systems in the front section, the aft is detachable, and the engine section is separate from the rest of the ship. There's no way for the crew to get to the bow in, during combat manoeuvres. Yeah, I encountered one of these ships before when I played this randomizer. The um, engines still were connected to the doors somehow. It's really frustrating, but hopefully it's fixed. This is made to include mind control system, oh crap. With weapon heat masking. This allows us to order super shield bypassing mind control system and an escape teleporter. Okay, so phase one's gonna be a lot difficult. In addition to the systems, the flagship is further equipped with an impressive array of artillery class weapons. Its main guns consist of a burst laser battery and a breach missile launcher. Okay, sounds nasty. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't. Secondary artillery class weapon systems are mounted on the wing section of the devious fire beam. Okay, this looks easy. To be honest, it doesn't look too hard. Take out the mind, deal with the mind control system with your own mind control. Although, mm, depends on how we're boarded, I guess. Look for the information on the backup system. Complex drone control system. Oh, okay. Oh, I hate ion intruder drones. The event semester it might pose a problem in phase two. Depends if I kill all the crew or not. Okay, internal generator. Respirator, so like a box of different uh, um, Alright. I say we get moving and tip the scales. And deal with these, with these jokers. Oh, you want me to pay a toll? No. 
I think your toll is unreasonable. It would pay a heavy toll on my crew, but I would pay it. Fire. Given I didn't use hacking. Fire. Fire. Come on. Destroy that ship. It's living too long. Oh no, you won't escape. You won't escape. Your systems are too badly damaged. There's no way you want to escape. Ha! Hull breaches do not affect me anyway. Hull breach never affected me anyway. Please don't sue me, Disney. Boom. You will not escape. You will not evade me. I'm actually thinking of doing another FTL video, like, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks in the future. After after I've finished Xenoblade and other, other games. I think of doing a um, FTL playthrough where I sort of roleplay as the captain. So, you know, I'll be like, well, Captain's log. I encountered an empty beacon. The crew is getting restless and basically give a story to each jump. Plus, you know, probably make each sector like its own separate video, but I don't know, I could probably... Another, another guy wants to pay the toll. He wants to ask me to pay a toll. Well, I'm sorry. I don't have the, I don't have the money to spare. Unfortunately, it looks like you're going to have to die. Because you know I can't afford I can't afford your um, unreasonable offers. I mean, can there be a payment payment plan or something? Can we work on a payment plan? I'll give you I'll give you like five scrap and then a couple of days time I give you another five scrap until the toll is all paid off. It's kind of unreasonable to go, oh you can't afford the toll? Too bad, you're going to die. It's like well I'll give you the money. I'll give you the two installments. Is that even possible? Can I do some can't you just debt collection? I mean, if we don't pay the toll, can you send any debt collectors out? What? Another one? Um, there's maybe a bug or something, guys. So I keep encountering these pirates who want, want me to pay a toll. Seriously, that's like three times in a row. No, not the shields. I can't live without the shields. Well, good thing I actually <laughs> took out the gun. Those guns. No, 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 no! Yes, keep those guns offline. They probably got an energy on board. Oh, the guns are taking so, so easily repaired. Oh, no, you're not. You will not evade me. You will not evade me, pirate scum. Yeah. Okay. More shields. Okay. Next. Before I take on the distress signal. I swear. Best get the battlefield. Oh, the Zoltan ship, huh? Well, my shields are now. Uh, my ship shields are immune to your puny weapons. Your weapons are no match for my power. Fire the ion. I got my eye on you. That's right. I can now just use the I can charge the guns. I can just keep charging the guns and you can't do anything about it. It's reckon, I reckon. You don't own you. Right. Plus I need more shields. I need more engines. More power to the engines. Divert power. Raise the shields. I got to offer assistance. Assistance. Yeah, I'm like Sean Connery or something. Yeah. Hey, rebel ship. Yeah, I'm talking to you, rebel ship. Get a better gun. Seriously. 
You got no shields. You got no style. You got no alibi. Things will get ugly for you. Because I don't have any oxygen. You don't have any oxygen. We're both immune to the fire. Mostly. We can still suffer hull damage, but I have a lot more hull than you do. Alright, let's see. Oh, quarantine level 5. Damn it. Damn it. I don't want quarantine level 5. Let's get the ship out of here. Yeah, I skipped through these events a lot because... Laser. Sorry to burst your laser. in a hard place. Actually, no. The choice is simple. The choice is simple. Okay, I can still get the secret data. Don't need to. I remember watching Vanguard of Alice run on this, um, with the flagship randomizer. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I'm not going to, I'm not going to escort you there. You're being dice Ah, you're going to board me, are you? Oh, good luck to you. <laughs> Good luck! Pick missile, pick missile, pick missiles! Boom! Good luck, Mr. Mantis! Seriously, I do wish you good luck! I just realised this Sultan's control sector would be perfect for me! One re the one main reason I hate Sultan's control sector is because of well, this one event where your weapon's license is not in order, so it might be perfectly reasonable to send like six Sultan on board your ship. That's the late sector, but still, having six Sultan on board your ship is not pleasant. So, I've had an immense hatred of Sultan controlled sectors because of that one event. It's even worse than those um, events where you have. Okay, let's see what I can buy. Not much. Although I could go with a just double eye on it. Yeah, I could go double eye on it and alright, get the stress signal then then swing around back. I'm not going to that one beacon. Okay. And Yep. Here's what I mean. Actually that's not it. Ha! Oh dear. Get out of there, man. Get out of there, man. Let everyone suffocate and die. I don't need to do much. I just need to wait them out. Because they all suffer. They're all gonna suffocate. And then, I just do that. That's what you get for boarding a ship with no oxygen. You should have checked the specs before you started boarding and then jamming my sensors. Now this ship is completely immune to boarding, and, you're, and you were a bunch of humans, a bunch of smelly, filthy, conniving humans. You thought, hey, let's board this ship with no oxygen, it's perfect, and it's... Yeah, exactly. 
Moving on. Oh, another empty beacon. Well, got it. Not one was sticking around empty beacons. Oh, a slug ship with two layers of shield. Well, it's like my ship with two layers of shield. There's only one solution to this. Let's take out their shields. And quickly. Quickly. So I should have done it as well. Actually, no, I couldn't get the second layer. Didn't quite spend all the money on fuel though. Might have. Ah. If they can't get through my shields, I can get through their shields. So, win win. No. You're going to die. You're going to die horribly. As your ship will explode. Boom. Your ship will explode, and I will live. You should have got a better firepower before setting out. Alright, now I can do a strat now I can do the Zolt B strategy. Just iron down the enemy shields constantly. And then have the main gun finish them off. As shown here. Hopefully. Yeah. This should be glorious. Yep. Their shields are officially are gonna be down for a while. Nothing to do about it. As I destroy this ship with immunity, mostly. That drone can still pose a threat. It might maneuver to one point, it might maneuver there, and it might move up there, taking a two layers of shield very quickly. And if that gun gets off. And now their ship is doomed. Cold. Anyway, oh come on, you missed. You missed. He moved. He didn't. Still sitting there. Black guns. Oh, it's still one of my favourite weapons. Next to the first laser too. Black guns are my next favourite. Jumps left. Yeah, another Zoltan ship, another pirate ship. Well, I'll treat you with both barrels of the ion. Give them both barrels. Give them the both barrels. The two barrel salute. You will not evade me. That lol mantis repairs. Mantis just can't fix anything. Stop missing! Stop trying to hit him and hit it! Come on. Slack him down! No! You will not surrender! I will not take your surrender! You're going to die! No! Come on, black gun! You can do better than that! Taken down! Alright. To the store. Let's see. <laughs> I can buy life support. But I might give that a, um, a miss this time around. Then again, if I, find an abandoned, if I can't find an abandoned sector in my run, I may have to invest in it because having Zoltan crew on board would be pretty awesome. Not oh, right, uh two really emergency respirators. So I should have done should have done back then, sold the emergency respirators, so I don't need them. I was thinking of the backup DNA bank. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna upgrade the clone bay, just for the sake of upgrading the clone bay. I'll get a teleporter and a cloaking device later. Oh a rebel ship. and the rest will follow. 
Your Super Shield is no match for my double barreled ion but blast. And your missiles are out anyway. I mean, there's nothing you can do about that, right? Oh, you fix it? What are you? Fe fix it Felix? Fix it Felix Jr. from Fix it Felix Jr. You will not last. No, you won't. You will not escape. Because you've got to fix everything up. you got to fix it, Felix. Nope, you're not surrendering. <coughs> Sorry about that. Yep, show some human. <laughs> Sneeze on camera. No, 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 no! Yes! Ha! Couldn't escape. You shouldn't have gone into a fight. Oh god. Sorry about that. A lot of sneezes there. Okay, um... Let's move on to the exit. Let's see what we can encounter. Next. Proof of scan. Ha! Hey, rebel ship! Prepare to die! Imperial fleet! Actually, no, I'm, I'm the Empire. No, actually, I'm not. I'm the Federation. What's the difference between the Federation and the Empire? The Federation are the good guys. How we know we're the good guys? We're the ones allowing all these alien species to live in complete total harmony with us. Well, the rebels, this one. Oh, humans? Only humans. You know how much I hate humans. Yeah. Humans are limited. You know, everyone else is cool. Hopefully, we'll be able to smash it to pieces. No. You're going to die. And there's not a thing you can do about it. And you did! Not big surprise! Alright, um, let's go jump to our next sector. Um, avoid the nebulas. So, civilian sector, I guess. Alright. And I'm gonna cut the video here. It's about 20 minutes long, so... I'm gonna cut the video here, then... Record another set. record another session. Split into pieces, so you're not watching an hour-long video every time. So let's do that then. Okay, so I've been Stars RJ. Thank you for watching, and um, stand by for part two.